The House managers have already set a very high bar for the President's counsel to meet. They've laid out a series of facts, none of which are in dispute. As the President's counsel prepares to mount their defense tomorrow, I hope they don't just sound like President Trump's tweets, that they don't simply resort to finger-pointing, name-calling, and debunk conspiracies. As the American people know, this moment is far too important for that. Every day we hear a different story from the senators, from many Senate Republicans, about why they oppose a fair trial and why we can have witnesses and documents. It's usually some shiny object that has nothing to do with the actual facts and law of the case. So now here's the latest one. And that is, it'll take too long if we do it later. That's the, that's the, that's the diversion of the day. <laughs> they have one a day. I think the message has gotten across very strongly. Uh, the American people are overwhelmingly with us. The, ma the uh, House managers are making the case, and we're going to continue to make it. This is a heavy moment, and you don't know how this sense of constitutional and historical responsibility weighs on the shoulders. We know we'll never get Trump. We know we'll never get McConnell. We know they'll pressure uh, Republican senators. But four Republican senators can step forward and say that we need witnesses and documents, and